Okay, before we get ready to do nerve block, you always want to make sure that the anesthesiologist has talked to the patient and has consented the patient for a nerve block. And even before that, you want to make sure that you have an order from the surgeon to get a nerve block done. So once you have those things, you go in and meet and greet your patient. You want to hook them up to the monitor, put some oxygen on. You'll then want to grab your kit, which I've emptied onto this tray right here. Um, and you'll grab all of the things that you're going to need. If it's a single shot injection, which is what we are videoing right now, you will need 0.5% row pivot cane and more than likely the lidocaine for the local. Now everything is in the book right here because each doctor, all 13 of them, do it a different way. So it's best to always consult the book once you know which anesthesiologist is going to be performing the block. So I've grabbed my row pivot cane. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to put it in two different syringes. It's 30 mils. I'm going to pull it in, pull it up to 15 in each one of these. And then I'm going to put it, stop, hook it up to my stopcock. And then I am going to hook it up to my needle and have that all ready to go. I like to put everything back into my bag so it's easy to carry to the patient's bedside. So I have that ready to go. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to grab the the physician's gloves, which again, every doctor is different, so we're going to put those in there. Again, every doctor is different. Most of them use this sterile gel, so I'm going to put that back in there. We've got our, our little opsite dressing that we're going to put over the probe of the ultrasound with some jelly underneath, so that's what that's for. We're going to want to clean the skin, so we'll give them that. You pull up your local anesthetic to 3 cc's. It'll have the other type of needle on, this type of needle. Then you'll want to change it to this needle right here. Again, that'll be in your bag in a little plastic. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and then you'll want to grab your uh, Versed and your syringe to give your Versed. Have that all labeled. And then you have your little sterile gauze to wipe it all off. So then you go into the room, you tell the patient that they're gonna do the block, and then we ask the family to leave. You'll have the ultrasound almost always on the opposite side of the side that they're doing the block. So we're gonna be doing a or an interscaling nerve block on this side. So I will have the ultrasound machine right here. I will be here, and then we'll have the rail down ready to go. Some of the docs like the patient on their side. So if that's the case, you wanna have that all ready to go too. Again, consult the book. So once you have the patient all ready to go, you've set your monitor for every 15 minutes to do the vital signs or the blood pressure. It'll be continuous blood uh, pulse. Call your surgeon in, or call your anesthesiologist in. He comes in and then you do a timeout. Name, date of birth, what we're doing, and any allergies. Once you've done that, you um, hand your bag of supplies to your anesthesiologist. He'll take all of this stuff out. You'll want to keep this because you're going to be using this and everything else the anesthesiologist is going to be using. So you'll want to give that all to them. Or you can have it laying on the patient's bed or sometimes I pull in the bedside table. All, again, all the docs are a little bit different. So the anesthesiologist is first of all going to grab his floor prep and clean it all off. Once they have that done, then you hand them the probe and they... They're going to... And then they will scan the, the, the patient's body to see where they can find that nerve block. You can see it on the, on the screen of the ultrasound. Once they've found the perfect spot, they'll, you'll either have this local or they'll have it wherever they want it, hand it to them. They'll localize the skin. Once they localize the skin, then you take out your needle and you hand them the needle. And then they will perform the block. Now, as they're performing the block, if you happen to be using a stimulator, you'll want to watch for a twitch. If you're not, some of the docs use a stimulator, some don't. And then they will tell you when it's time to inject. To inject, you have to first pull back. You always want to watch the hub for blood. You never want to see blood. And if it's negative, you say negative, and then they'll say, they'll say inject. So you inject three to five cc's very slowly. You shouldn't meet any resistance. If you do meet resistance, you'll want to let them know. And then if they say continue, then you just continue going. Let them know where you're at on your syringe. So I've given five and I'm going to pull back. I'm going to give another five. So doctor, I've given 10 mils all together. Keep going. Go very slowly. Again, you should never meet any resistance. You should never see any blood. If any of those things happen, stop immediately. Tell your anesthesiologist. 
Once you have that all done, if, if the anesthesiologist hasn't told you to take a picture during that procedure, before he removes a needle, make sure you get an image on the ultrasound. Get your image, they'll pull out the needle, and then you'll be all done. So either the anesthesiologist or yourself will go ahead and wipe that off. Make sure all the needles are taken care of in the needle can. Some of them are famous for putting the needles wherever. Just kind of keep an eye on that. Some of them are really good about putting them in the needle can. Do you need to do anything to the site, uh, like Band-Aid or anything? You can use a Band-Aid. Typically, they don't bleed. If they, if they do ooze a little bit, I'll use this sterile gauze once I've wiped it off and just put a little pressure on, and then that it usually stops. And I we think. will have a, a video for the ultrasound piece. Yeah, there you go. Um, and then you get your patient comfortable, put the side rails up because you've given them from some first set. Make sure their head's in, head's in a good position, make sure they're nice and warm, and make them comfortable if the family is allowed to come back or they're not ready to take them back to the OR, you can grab the family back to wait with them until they go to surgery.